Thanks a lot for staying with us on Kings of Cricket. I'm Shivani Gupta. India have completely dominated, pummeled the Kiwi bowlers. King Kohli has scripted history at the Vankare today. After getting his 48th and the record equaling 49th ton in ODI cricket in this World Cup campaign, today he went one up. The legendary Sachin Tendulkar's record in just 291 matches. He's dominating this edition of the World Cup, sitting comfortably at the top as the highest run scorer with 700 runs already. There's possibly one more match coming up. I'm saying possibly only because I have to be fair to the other team as well. Not only this, the other Indian batters were also lethal, unstoppable. Rohit Sharma, as has become the template for him in this World Cup, gave an explosive start to the team, not really caring about how long he lasts. Gil gave a, poop, a superb start as well. He had to go out, retired hurt due to cramps and pain, but came back towards the end. Shreyas Iyer also scored a fantastic century. India have scored a mammoth 397 for four. The task is cut out for the Kiwi batting lineup. Let me remind you that India's bowling attack is the best in the World Cup and it will not be easy for any team. Even the Kiwis, who came close to chasing down 388 versus Australia and fell short by just a bit. As I mentioned, Shubman Gill had to go out of uh, the match and when he was in his 70s. Uh, there was a bit of an injury concern. He did come back to bat. We don't really know or have a word about what could that, uh, the contours of that niggle or injury could be. There's been no official word just yet. But of course, the team would be hoping that if he was fit enough to come back and bat, that he's going to be fit going forward, possibly to that final as well. With that, let me introduce you to our World Cup experts, Mohinder Amanath, Ayaz Memon, Venkatesh Prasad, Murli Karthik, all joining us. And Graham Swan is with us, joining us from England. Graham Swan, let me begin with you. A masterclass from Virat Kohli, yet again. He finally gets his 50th, the one that everybody had been waiting for. Absolutely. You know, we said before the show, somebody on the panel said that would this be the day that he gets there. And he was brilliant, but what he did, he, he capitalised on the incredible start by Rohit Sharma. That is how to lead from the front and how to set the stall out for the rest of your team. I just, I couldn't get my eyes around it. The, the first four or five overs, what New Zealand were doing, trying to bowl short to Rohit Sharma. I mean, that is just absolutely crazy. But the way he started with such speed and such ferocity... He set the scene for everyone else. Mm. And Vera Kohli bat beautifully. In fact, everyone did. There's not a single person who didn't go out there and bat incredibly. And before the game, do you remember we were talking, saying what would be a good score? Yes. And we dared say 300, you know, use pitch and everything. Mm. But 397, this Indian team just gets better and better and better. Yeah, absolutely. We were talking, uh, Jimmy Paji, about the template that Rohit Sharma has set for himself, the template that's working so well for the team. He comes... He plays his natural cricket, he hammers the bowlers all around the park, gives India that start that they need, destroys the confidence of the opposing bowlers and then, you know, his job is done. Yeah, I think uh, he's leading from the front. I yeah. think this is what India needed today. I think this is what he has been doing in the uh, tournament right mm, through yes. from the first game. And once you have a, that explosive start, you mm. know, the others are catching on it. You said Virat Kohli, Ayer, or you talk about Sh Shubman Gill or anybody for that matter. So I think uh, they have got three. To me, I've never seen anything like this in my life, mm. the way they have played this game. Yeah. A word about Virat Kohli? Oh, well, yes. It's Going in, one in, above in, Sachin Tendulkar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think um, you can't compare people. I yeah, think sure. they're from two different generations. Mm. And uh, Sachin was, has always been great and he's always remained a great player. And, but I think to break uh, Sachin's record, I think it's a great, great achievement. Mm. What do you think makes Virat Kohli so special? What do I you think like his hunger, it? his hunger for mm. the game, hunger for to perform, hunger mm. to do well for his team, for his country. So it's all there, it's visible, you know, that's mm. why he's been consistent. Yes. And I think consistency is the key. Mm. And he's one of those guys, you know, he scored over 700 runs in this yes. World Cup, you know, like you probably <laughs> scored those runs in about 20 test matches or something. <laughs>